All right, so that cleaned out. So these are both. This is like the start of the main story. We got the Book of Wonders and Delayed Burial to still do. Is it 7.40? We can probably go get one of these done. Alright, at least put a marker here. We at least got the initial collection chain done for Aryuan though, so that's all done. That's the good stuff. I don't gotta worry about finding those initial artifacts anymore. I don't see nothing on this table yet. Oh, that's all it added for... That's kind of funny. You know what I never installed and I really kind of wanted to look at and figure out what it, what you can do with it is the, um, there's a add-on for this mod, the gift shop, and it evicts Erichther. Like, his whole house just gets annexed, and he gets turned into a gift shop for the museum. I... been here yet? Nah. The Imperials are good for business, and business we'll just go do, um... Guy. Go convince Lorius to help out, uh... Our homie. Just to get that quest out of here, because that quest is just an extra. That way whenever whenever we do get to the Dark Brotherhood, Cicero will always already be our friend. Because he'll be like, yo, it's the homie! I've only ever done the Dark Brotherhood where you don't side with Cicero. I don't know if it changes anything for that storyline. If you side with the Nightmother and actually reestablish the proper Dark Brotherhood in the name of Sithis and not side with Estrid, but I don't know if it, uh, I don't know if that changes it at all. Dark Brotherhood story might just be really scuffed in this game. Winking Skeever's got warm beds and cold. We need to reestablish the Dark Brother. How do we do that? We destabilize the Empire. What do you mean? We're going to kill the Emperor. Why? Yes? I don't know if it changes anything for that. It's really kind of dumb. <laughs> going straight through, or did you want to stop somewhere along the Climb and back and we'll no, be back off. to White Run, please. Got keen eyes? Might see nasty is this Nolvis? I don't think so. I don't know what Nolvis is. Y'all should just run him out and have <laughs> We're just making mac and cheese. The Skyrim mod back. Oh no, this is all this is all hand picked, hand put together mods. This isn't any particular pack. The only thing that's like specifically like went like, yep, we're doing this for sure is uh Legacy of the Dragonborn. Uh museum mod. I quite enjoy that mod. But uh, this is all this is all handpicked stuff. Wow, that was That is entirely uh why why should you not run the 4K texture pack version of the mods that you find on Nexus? Really shouldn't, because it's way too powerful. What are the specs? Uh, needlessly overbuilt computer. Uh, I'm on very, very bleeding edge hardware. And it's an, it, it's definitely a, don't try to stream and encode a, uh, output while also trying to run uncompressed 4K textures. On, on at 1440p resolution, no less. For one, the scripts in the game, the actual game's engine is held together with duct tape and bubble gum, so that's already going to cause issues for that. Two, the game was never designed to be run like that. And three, there's no graphics card in the market that's supposed to be able to do that all at once. Outside of maybe the Titan class, but EVGA doesn't make cards anymore for those. 
Yeah, exc exclamation point mods will show you the mod order. The load order for the mods. And all the links and everything for which ones I'm using are all there. Yeah, it's uh, it's all hand hand put together. It's also the anniversary edition, so I have all the uh, all the Creation Club content is in the game already. There's there's literally every everything you could possibly have. Whoa! What the hell? Where did you come? I saw the wolf. I didn't see him. Random fucking Argonian. Ow. 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 Please stop. Please die. <laughs> huh. I don't think I've ever seen that cape. Good? Oh, now he's moving. Okay. <laughs> Weird. Yeah, I don't have a, uh, like, a command or anything for the actual, like, parts I have in the computer. I really should at some point put that together. And set up a, uh, an actual, like, here's what the computer's running. For all the years I've been making content, I've never actually done that. Yeah, I do... I, my, one of my hobbies is custom computer stuff so it's all water cooled bleeding edge hardware custom custom tubing loops you know the, the kind of thing of like how much money did you spend on that more than you should way more than you should for sure the meme of i built a computer with cutting edge hardware to play video games from 10 years ago <laughs> I play a lot of a lot of Skyrim, a lot of RuneScape, old school RuneScape, fucking Mario, Mar Super Mario World ROM hacks, <laughs> fucking. I don't play any like cutting edge first gen games, you know, current gen content games. I play fucking shit from you know, 10, 20 years ago. I don't, I don't need a 6950 XT on a overclocked, water cooled setup. Oh, no one needs that. <laughs> what do I need that for? For what I'm doing. My poor mother. <laughs> I still stand by Cicero as one of the best voice acting setups in this whole game. Whoever the VA is for oh, Cicero just put Cicero so much, stuck. so much effort Can't into this. It's great. I was transporting my dear sweet mother. Well, not her, her corpse. <laughs> She's quite dead. I'm taking mother to a new home, a new crypt, but ah, wagon wheel, damn this wagon, wagon wheel. wheel. It, don't you see? Yeah, I'll put the I'll put a command together for uh for the PC specs sometime. Oh. probably today, oh, maybe. Yes, <laughs> yes, the kindly stranger can certainly help. Go to the farm, the Lorius farm, just over there. The, the Lorius the farm. <laughs> He has tools. He can help me, but he won't. He refuses. Ah, convince Loris to fix my wheel. Do that, and poor Cicero will reward you with coin. Gleamy shine. I wonder coin. if you get if you don't have Lorius help him. I wonder if uh, the game like ends up having Lorius end up dead dead later on. For all of Skyrim's weird issues, it, it definitely always had like weird little things like that. There were odd interactions. It did actually have oh, some like Mama, choices Mama. actually matter thing. That Cicero fella? <laughs> Tell me something I don't know. Crazy fools already bald? asked me about five times. Bald? This man is bald. Satisfied with my answer. Why can't he just leave us alone? What's the problem? I'm sure he'll pay you. This is about money. Have you seen the man? He's completely out of his head. The jester here in Skyrim ain't been a merry man in these parts for a hundred years. And he's transporting some giant box. Says it's a coffin and he's going to bury his mother. 
mother of my eye. You could have anything in there. War contraband, weapons, skooma. Ain't no way I'm getting involved in any of that. He's a stranger who needs assistance. Please, do the right thing. What? And just who in Mara's name are you, anyway? Hmm? Come here, telling me my business. And for what? To help a, a, a fool? Look, Look you, should, you know you should I, help him. Yes, Come on. you're right, you're right. Feller might be nutters, might not. But fact is, he needs help. I turned him away. What kind of a man am I, huh? Look, um, thanks. And I'm sorry for my unneighborly reaction. If you talk to Cicero, you be sure to tell him I'll be down to help soon. Jeez. I don't know who the hell shit this guy's Cheerios or why he wouldn't just help this guy fix his damn wagon wheel. Never, I never understood, uh, what, wow, okay, what kind of stuck in the rocks? Never understood his reaction to that quest. Oh, it quite literally just fell off. <laughs> Poor mother! Her home seems so very far. I talked to Loris, he's gonna you, fix your wheel. You did? He has? Oh, stranger! You have made Cicero so happy, so jubilant and ecstatic, but more, even more. My mother thanks you. Here, here for your troubles, shiny blink gold. A few coins for your kind deed, and thank you, thank you again. <laughs> Oh, there it is. <laughs> like I said, weird, weird Skyrim stuff. Just sometimes things just hang. All right, so we gotta. I don't know if I want to do this one right now. Is this one's a pain in the ass? Cause that's up on top of that friggin' mountain over there. You gotta go through that whole cave. This one's easy to get to. It's just over by Dragon Bridge. And then this one's also kind of a pain in the ass. It's up over here near Riverwood. Yeah, it's up over here. What if I want to do Malrius's codex yet? And steal Cicero's horse. Ah, <laughs> eh, maybe we will. For next time, Skyrim next time is a problem. Get back to Whiterun real quick. We've aided Cicero. I need I need the wind walking spell so bad. <laughs> that or I need to finally go uh I just don't want to deal with fighting the guy to get it, because it's you gotta swipe it from the house over in like the middle of the plains, but there's the Blaze of Eventide uh mod. I really like that horse. It's just a huge pain in the ass to go get. Cause I don't wanna have to fight the dude inside the house that's got a billion health and he's like level 35. At level like eight. Probably sneak in there and just steal it and then leave. That's also annoying too, because I don't know if the guy actually has a like trigger to go down and sleep. I think he's just always awake. Oh shit. Grab stone for the uh, replica of the uh, dragon stone. Hang on, hold up. I need some of this. Don't need a lot of it. I think we only quarry stone like one time ever, outside of anything for hearth fire. Furrow Farm, isn't that where Nazim lives? Oh, 
Okay. I'm gonna save here. We got that. We'll start. We'll do like Mallory's codex and some and probably next time, because that's got a bunch of steps to it. Because I think there's two different uh, two different locations we have to clear to get there. I know getting to the dwarven one up on the hill. It's not a dwarf ruin we have to go through. I think it's a Nordic ruin we gotta go through. Oh, I forget what the hell the place is called though, but I know, I know where it is. It's over by um, the Nightgate Inn. Probably do that because the other one is just over by the Vampire Cave for Dawn Guard near Dragon's Bridge. And then the other one, I think we just gotta like scoop by a Hagraven nest. We can just ignore the one for where Nettlebane is for the uh, Gilder Green quest. I think we can just walk past that and then just go pick up the uh the snow elf one over there. I think the only other thing that's over that's annoying is like the wisp mother spawn there. That's kind of a pain in the ass. We'll deal with that next time. That'll be it next time.